Inside the grand chamber of the Zarnok Council, a sense of anticipation filled the air. The Zarnok Council leader, the tall figure with shimmering scales, addressed the assembly. This is a momentous occasion, he began. We have received signals from a distant planet known as Earth. The council members exchanged curious glances. The Zarnok scientist, an expert in interstellar communications, stepped forward. Earth, I've heard it is a primitive world with limited technology, she said. The leader nodded. Indeed. However, we must investigate further, send a scout ship to gather more information. Weeks later, the scout ship returned, bringing with it an unexpected passenger, a human child named Emily. She appeared lost and confused, her small frame dwarfed by the towering aliens around her. Where am I? Who are you? Emily asked, her voice trembling with uncertainty. The Zarnok council leader approached her gently. Welcome to Zarnok, young one. We are curious about your kind and wish to learn from you. Emily looked around, her eyes wide with fear and confusion. I'm Emily. Just want to go home, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. The Zarnok scientist crouched down to Emily's level, trying to appear less intimidating. How did you come to be here? She inquired. Emily shook her head, tears welling up in her eyes. I don't know. One moment I was in my room, the next I'm here. The council leader's expression softened. Fear not, Emily. We shall learn from you, and you from us. We will try our best to help you return home. Emily nodded, though she still seemed apprehensive. Okay, but can you help me get back home? The council leader smiled reassuringly. We will try. But first, let us understand each other. Over the following days, Emily was introduced to various members of the Zarnok Society. They were fascinated by her and eager to learn about human culture and technology. Despite her initial fear, Emily began to feel more comfortable, especially when she discovered that the Zarnok children were just as curious and eager to learn as she was. One day, Emily found herself in a classroom filled with Zarnok children. She stood at the front, a chalkboard behind her, trying to explain basic math concepts. So, this is how you do basic math on Earth, she said, drawing simple equations on the board. The alien children watched intently. One of them, a bright-eyed child named Zark, raised a hand. It's so simple. We have much more complex methods, Zark exclaimed. Emily smiled, feeling a sense of pride in her ability to teach. Sometimes simple is better. Let's try some problems together. The children quickly solved the problems, their faces lighting up with excitement. Emily, your ways are fascinating. Can you tell us more about Earth? Another child, named Rhea, asked. Emily's heart warmed at their enthusiasm. Sure, we have stories, games, and all sorts of fun activities. As Emily shared tales of Earth's customs and inventions, the Zarnok Council leader entered the room, observing the interaction with great interest. Emily, our scientists are impressed by your knowledge. They wish to learn more about your technology, he announced. Emily looked up, a mix of surprise and curiosity on her face. I'm just a kid, but I can tell you about our inventions. The Zarnok scientist stepped forward, her eyes gleaming with interest. Tell us about this. Internet, she requested. Emily's face lit up with excitement. The internet is like a giant library where everyone can share information. It's really cool. The scientist's eyes widened with intrigue. A shared knowledge network. Intriguing. Yeah, it helps us learn and stay connected. Emily explained, her passion for the subject evident in her voice. The council leader nodded thoughtfully. Emily. Your ideas could revolutionize our society. Emily blushed, feeling a mix of pride and humility. Really? I'm just a kid. The Zarnok scientist smiled warmly. You are more than that, Emily. You are a bridge between our worlds. As days turned into weeks, Emily continued to share her knowledge with the Zarnok people. 
She taught them about Earth's history, culture, and technological advancements. In turn, the Zarnok shared their advanced science and technology with her, creating a unique exchange of ideas. Despite the alien environment, Emily began to feel a sense of belonging among the Zarnok. They treated her with kindness and respect, valuing her insights and perspectives. She formed close bonds with the alien children who looked up to her as a mentor and friend. One evening, as the sun set over the crystalline landscape of Zarnak, Emily sat with the Zarnak council leader and scientist, discussing her journey. I never imagined I'd be in a place like this, sharing my world's knowledge, she said, gazing at the stars above. The council leader nodded, his eyes reflecting the glow of the setting sun. You have brought great change to our society, Emily. Your ideas have inspired us to think differently. The scientist added, We have already begun to implement some of the concepts you introduced. Our productivity and efficiency have improved significantly. Emily smiled, feeling a sense of accomplishment. I'm glad I could help, but I still miss my home. The council leader placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. We understand, Emily. We have been working on a way to help you return to Earth. Emily's eyes widened with hope. Really? You can send me back. The scientist nodded. Yes, we have constructed a device that may help you return to your world. However, we wish for you to stay with us a little longer, if you can. Emily's heart swelled with emotion. She had grown fond of the Zarnak and their beautiful planet. I miss my family, but I will visit often. I promise. The council leader smiled, his eyes filled with gratitude. You will always be welcome here, Emily. You have changed us forever. As Emily looked around at the faces of her alien friends, she realized that she had found a second home on Zarnak. Her journey had begun with fear and uncertainty, but it had led to a profound connection between two worlds. She had shown the Zarnak the power of simple human ideas, and in return, they had given her a sense of purpose and belonging. In the days that followed, Emily continued to teach and learn, bridging the gap between Earth and Zarnak. She knew that her adventure was far from over and that the future held endless possibilities for both her and the alien civilization she had come to love. And so, Emily's journey continued, a testament to the power of curiosity, knowledge, and the unbreakable bond between different worlds. The days on Zarnak were long and filled with endless curiosity. Emily, now more accustomed to her surroundings, had taken on the role of a teacher, eagerly sharing Earth's knowledge with her alien friends. The Zarnok children, in particular, were fascinated by her stories and lessons. One bright morning, Emily stood at the front of a classroom filled with eager Zarnok students. The room was large, with walls made of a translucent material that let in the soft blue light of Zarnok's sun. Emily picked up a writing tool and began drawing simple math problems on the board. So, this is how you do basic math on Earth, she explained, writing down equations for addition and subtraction. It's simple, but very useful. The Zarnok children watched intently. One of them, Zark, raised his hand. It's so simple, we have much more complex methods, he exclaimed, his eyes wide with amazement. Emily smiled at his enthusiasm. Sometimes simple is better. Let's try some problems together and see how fast we can solve them. The children quickly tackled the problems, their faces lighting up as they found the answers. Emily, your ways are fascinating, said Rhea, another student. Can you tell us more about Earth? Emily felt a warm glow of pride. Sure. On Earth, we have lots of fun activities. We play games, read books, and explore new ideas. Let me tell you about some of the things we do for fun. She began describing games like soccer and board games, the concept of storytelling, and how children on Earth spend their time. The Zarnok children listened with rapt attention, their minds racing with new ideas and possibilities. As Emily shared more about her world, the Zarnok council leader entered the classroom, observing the interaction with great interest. Emily, 
Our scientists are impressed by your knowledge, he announced, his voice filled with admiration. They wish to learn more about your technology. Emily looked up, a mix of surprise and curiosity on her face. I'm just a kid, but I can tell you about our inventions, she said modestly. The Zarnok scientist, who had been standing beside the council leader, stepped forward with a gleam of interest in her eyes. Tell us about this, Internet, she requested, her voice filled with curiosity. Emily's face lit up with excitement. The Internet is like a giant library where everyone can share information. It's really cool. You can learn about anything, talk to friends, and even play games. The scientist's eyes widened with intrigue. A shared knowledge network. Intriguing. How does it work? Emily thought for a moment, trying to explain in simple terms. It's like a web that connects computers all over the world. People can send messages, share pictures, and watch videos. It's a great way to stay connected. The council leader nodded thoughtfully. Emily, your ideas could revolutionize our society. We must learn more about this internet. Emily blushed, feeling a mix of pride and humility. Really? I'm just a kid. The Zarnok scientist smiled warmly. You are more than that, Emily. You are a bridge between our worlds. Your knowledge is invaluable to us. Over the following weeks, Emily spent her days teaching the Zarnok about Earth's technology. She explained how computers work, described the basics of the Internet, and shared stories of how humans use these tools to improve their lives. The Zarnok scientists were particularly interested in the concept of a global network and began working on ways to implement similar technology on their planet. One afternoon, as Emily was explaining the concept of email to a group of Zarnok scientists, she noticed their excitement. With email, you can send messages instantly to anyone in the world, she said. It's faster than regular mail and very convenient. The scientists nodded eagerly, scribbling notes on their tablets. This could revolutionize our communication systems. One of them remarked, We must begin working on this immediately. As the days passed, Emily noticed significant changes in Zarnok society. The simple ideas she had introduced were being integrated into everyday life, improving efficiency and productivity. The Zarnok people were amazed at how these basic concepts could make such a big difference. Despite her growing comfort on Zarnok, Emily still missed her home. One evening, she sat with the Zarnok council leader and scientist, discussing her journey. I never imagined I'd be in a place like this, sharing my world's knowledge, she said, gazing at the stars above. The council leader nodded, his eyes reflecting the glow of the setting sun. You have brought great change to our society, Emily. Your ideas have inspired us to think differently. The scientist added, We have already begun to implement some of the concepts you introduced. Our productivity and efficiency have improved significantly. Emily smiled, feeling a sense of accomplishment. I'm glad I could help, but I still miss my home. The council leader placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. We understand, Emily. We have been working on a way to help you return to Earth. Emily's eyes widened with hope. Really? You can send me back? The scientist nodded. Yes, we have constructed a device that may help you return to your world. However, we wish for you to stay with us a little longer, if you can. Emily's heart swelled with emotion. She had grown fond of the Zarnok and their beautiful planet. I miss my family, but I will visit often. I promise. The council leader smiled his eyes filled with gratitude. You will always be welcome here, Emily. You have changed us forever. Emily continued to share her knowledge with the Zarnok, teaching them about Earth's technology and culture. She felt a deep sense of fulfillment knowing that she was making a positive impact on their society. The Zarnok people treated her with kindness and respect, valuing her insights and perspectives. One day, Emily was invited to a special ceremony held in her honor. The entire Zarnok community gathered to celebrate the changes she had brought to their world. The council leader stood before the crowd, addressing them with pride. Today, 
We honor Emily, a young human who has brought great change to our society. Her simple ideas have revolutionized our way of life, and we are forever grateful, he said, his voice echoing through the chamber. Emily stood beside him, feeling a mix of pride and humility. Thank you, she said, her voice filled with emotion. I'm glad I could help. I never imagined that my ideas would make such a difference. The Zarnok scientist stepped forward, holding a small, intricately designed device. Emily, we have created this for you. It will allow you to return to Earth whenever you wish, but also to visit us whenever you want, she explained. Emily's eyes widened with surprise. Really? I can go home and still visit you. The scientist nodded. Yes, you are now a part of our world, and we want you to be able to come back whenever you like. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes as she accepted the device. Thank you so much. I will never forget you all. The crowd erupted in cheers, celebrating the bond that had been formed between Earth and Zarnok. Emily felt a deep sense of connection to her alien friends and knew that her journey had only just begun. As she prepared to use the device for the first time, the council leader placed a hand on her shoulder. Remember, Emily, you are always welcome here. You have changed our world for the better. Emily nodded, her heart full of gratitude. I will visit often and bring more stories and ideas. With a final wave to her friends, Emily activated the device and felt a familiar sensation as she was transported back to Earth. She found herself standing in her room, just as she had left it. Her heart swelled with joy as she realized she could now share her incredible adventure with her family and friends. As the Zarnok delegation departed, Emily activated her device and returned to Earth. She was greeted by her family and friends, who were eager to hear about her latest adventures. She told them about the exchange program and the exciting possibilities it held for both worlds. In the weeks that followed, the Zarnok delegation settled into life on Earth. They marveled at the diversity of human culture, technology, and natural beauty. Emily acted as their guide, helping them navigate their new environment and introducing them to various aspects of human life. One day, as Emily and the Zarnok delegation were exploring a bustling city, Zark turned to her with a thoughtful expression. Emily, your world is so different from ours. There's so much to learn and experience. Emily nodded, feeling a sense of wonder. Yes, and there's so much we can learn from each other. This exchange program is just the beginning. As the Zarnok delegation shared their knowledge with humans, new collaborations and innovations began to emerge. Scientists from both worlds worked together to develop advanced technologies, improve healthcare, and address environmental challenges. The bond between Earth and Zarnok grew stronger, fueled by mutual respect and a shared vision for the future. One evening, as Emily was reflecting on the incredible journey that had brought their worlds together, she received a message from the Zarnok Council leader. Emily, we have made great progress, but there is still much to do. We would like you to continue being our ambassador and guide. Emily felt a surge of pride and responsibility. I would be honored, she replied. The council leader's voice was filled with gratitude. Thank you, Emily. Your journey has inspired us all. Together, we will continue to build a brighter future. As Emily looked out at the night sky, she felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had started her journey as a lost and frightened child, but now she was a bridge between two worlds, helping to create a future filled with endless possibilities. And so, Emily's story continued, a testament to the power of knowledge, curiosity, and the unbreakable bond between different worlds. She knew that her adventure was far from over and that the future held endless opportunities for both Earth and Zarnok. As the years passed, the exchange program flourished, bringing humans and Zarnok closer together. New friendships were formed, and collaborations led to groundbreaking discoveries. Emily's role as an ambassador grew, and she became a beloved figure on both worlds.
One day, as Emily was speaking at an interplanetary conference, she looked out at the diverse audience of humans and Zarnok. She felt a deep sense of pride and hope for the future. Together, we have shown that despite our differences, we can achieve great things. Our journey has only just begun, and I am excited to see where it will take us. The audience erupted in applause, inspired by Emily's words. As she stepped off the stage, she was approached by the Zarnok scientist. Emily, your journey has been remarkable. We are grateful for all you have done. Emily smiled warmly. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without the support of both worlds. The scientist nodded. Indeed. Our collaboration has shown that when we come together, there are no limits to what we can achieve. As Emily looked out at the stars, she knew that her adventure was far from over. The bond between Earth and Zarnok was stronger than ever, and the future held endless possibilities. With a heart full of hope and determination, Emily embraced the journey ahead, ready to explore new horizons and continue building a brighter future for all.